something kind of neat that I found. I've been boiling some eggs. Um, the water is at 100 degrees Celsius and it's right on the cusp of boiling. So look at that. It's not a steady boil, right? I've got the heat down at around, oh, 60% on, uh, on the coil. And it's doing this kind of weird, like, stop start of boiling. So let's look at what's actually, uh, here's what I think is actually going on, is that boiling is, when, when water boils, what's happening is you've got, well, the water consists of uh, molecules, right? You've got molecules of water, and um, heat is expressed by the molecules vibrating, right? The, the, you, you've got these, this molecular vibration, and a state change is when you have something which goes from liquid to a gas, from the water to steam. Um, and what's happening is that water, those water molecules that are vibrating, they're vibrating enough to the point where they break the bonds. And when they break the bonds, they take up a larger amount of space, they're able to get free of one another. Um, and you know that's when you get the steam. Now the steam takes up a much greater volume of space than the water does. So what this means is that um, you've got a certain amount of heat in a small space of water, which suddenly expands to take up a large amount of space. And as a result, when you have the same amount of heat, which is concentrated in a small bit of water, which suddenly takes up a large amount of space uh, as gas, you get a cooling effect because it's the same amount of heat, the same quanta of heat now spread over a larger area. And you get a cooling effect. And this is something similar to what happens in your air conditioner. You've got Freon, you have a compressor. Well, they don't use Freon anymore. Um, but the thing is that it is taking a gas, it is compressing it down, it's uh, radiating the heat off, and then it's allowing it to expand into a gas. And so that small amount of heat is now spread over a large area and it cools. So you've got this cooling effect. So every time, um, the the steam bubbles up every time this this water undergoes that state change. It becomes steam. You see it releasing bursts of steam. You've got this cooling effect that's going on, and what it's doing is it's chilling the water down below below that cusp, below that that boiling point cusp. So um, yeah, I thought that was kind of a neat thing to share with you. Is um, maybe a little bit of uh, kitchen science or kitchen physics. Uh, this is this is about state changes and what happens when you've got water right at that boiling point. And uh, it looks like in about a minute my eggs are going to be uh, nice and boiled and ready. And um, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you later.